back. I scraped it. It was a big decision. A lot of paint. 2.5 kilos of paint, 80 ounces, but I just wasn't happy with it. So I'm going again. I've thinned my white down even more. It's making a tiny little mound. I hope that's enough. Right, I've done the first layer. And the other thing I've done differently is I've not put so much white in the bottom. This white, the Liquitex Basics, is quite strong. It's highly pigmented. Uh, I found that the whites, you know, the, the cells really took over. I had a lot of big white cells. So I'm just using less of the white on the bottom anyway. And I may do an extra layer of white at the end because I haven't used all my white yet. Right, so same as last pour, my glue and water mix, 60% glue, 30% water, 10% Floetrol. Oops, I'm running out of paint. And I have got eight drops of treadmill silicone oil in each cup. I measured out 200 grams of pouring medium to 200 grams of paint. So it's 400 grams in each cup. And that can take eight drops. So it's basically one drop per 50 grams of paint. I've cut down a little bit on it. Um, and I've got nine, nine cups. I've got enough room. The other one I made 10 cups, but I didn't use the last cup. So I might just leave some of the paint in the big cups. I haven't used all the white yet either, so I probably won't use all this black either. I have to leave enough room for my other colours. So this is just the second layer. Hopefully two layers will be enough. So there's a little bit of black left. Oh, flicking my stick everywhere, making a mess. Um, yeah, so two layers. Let's go with this one. Oh, that's, oh. I haven't got much paint. In those cups down the end there, and these ones are really full. Put a little bit more in the end ones. The end ones always miss out, don't they? You start up that end and put heaps of paint in, and then when you get down the end, you've hardly got any paint left, and your front cups are really full. So hopefully this is going to be pretty... As I said, I just wasn't happy with it. And, you know, you're the one that has to be happy with your work. It doesn't matter what other people say. Oh, it's lovely, it's beautiful, keep it. You have to be happy with it. Otherwise, there's just no point, is there? Alrighty, some purple. This is the nice bright dioxazine purple. I'll tell you my colours in a minute. I still feel relatively thick. But they were leaving a, just a little mound, so it was mainly the white that I had to thin out. I think the other ones were okay. It was the white that was the culprit. So I've really thinned that one out. I ended up using, I wrote it down, 140 grams of Paint, Liquitex Basics paint, to 200 grams of pouring medium. So it wasn't 50 50 at all. Okay, top it off with this turquoisey colour. And then I might 
might put a little bit of white on top as well. Gee, it's pretty much all fitted in. I wasn't planning on using it all. Oh well. Rather a bit much than not enough, hey? Okay, let's put some white just to finish it off. Because I've got some room, I might as well use it up. A little bit of room left in my cups. Way too much paint. Okay, there we go. Won't scrape it, just leave what's there. All right. Let's do this again. Now I think I might try and flip alternate ways as well. So one there, one there, just to get a little bit of, oh that splashed, oh I nearly hit my tripod bed. The tripod is sitting up there on the table. I think that's about even. Mm. Okay. Oh, look at the colours. What a pity they don't stay like that. Hey, what a pity they all blend and mix into each other. I'm just going to clean up this paint that I've spilt while that's sitting there. No, oh, I can't really reach the other one. Okay, colours, my dioxazine purple, southern seas, peacock, sky, white is the Liquitex Basics, Trouble Child, and some black, and treadmill silicone oil. And that is that. Let's clean up a little bit here while that paint is thinking about what it's going to do. All right. Now, if this doesn't work, I'm not doing it again. I say that now, but no, I won't. I won't do it again. I'll just have to be happy with how it is this time around. Can't afford to keep scraping all this paint. Probably would have cost me about, I think, about forty dollars in paint and medium for that last one that I just scraped. So best not to do it. Okay, let's go. Feels a lot thinner already. Well, I didn't stir up my silicone oil as much as I normally did. I wanted to see what would happen. Oh, that's a lot of white. Oh my goodness. Is that just because I flipped it the other way? I hope not. So I don't want that much white everywhere. I don't know if I'm going to do this one now because of all, all that. What if I get another one that's so white? I don't want that. I'll do it over here just in case. And then at least they're separated. So pouring pretty slowly or dragging pretty slowly, I should say. No, it didn't happen. <laughs> Didn't. That's good. Go over there, cup. I just wish I wouldn't get that blob there at the end of the cup. I think my cells are getting. There we go. At least I'm getting all the paint out, eh? You can see straight away that this mix is thinner because I've got big cells popping up already. I hope I haven't gone the opposite way now and it's too thin. 
because that would just be awful if that happened. Ooh, I like that purple there. So hopefully I'm getting a good coverage on the canvas, flipping both ways. But I'm getting those The other thing I'm going to do with this pour, I'm going to tilt a little bit before I torch because my mix is thinner. I don't want my cells to be overstretched. It's a pretty one. It's got a lot of turquoise in that one. It's a lot lighter than the previous pour, I think, at this stage anyway. From memory, it looks a little bit more Turquoisey. Turquoisey, is that a word? Look how big these have got. I just hope I haven't gone the other way now and made it too thin. But I'm going to tilt one way and then I'm going to torch. Because I don't want these cells to stretch too much, get too big. I'm doing the sides first before I try and attempt to go over the edge. It is flowing a lot easier, isn't it? Like I really struggled to get those triangle areas before. Last time I had to put extra paint in and help it to cross and all that. So I'm going to tip off some of this that I don't like up to... Keep that a little bit, that's all right. Okay. All right, now I'm going to turn it around. Do I need to? Mm, I do, I have, yeah, I have trouble tilting the other way. I'm gonna have to move all my cups out of the way first so that I can use that space. do this, I'll just do it like I did last time, just walk it around, walk it around, round, 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 oops, don't fall off the table, oh my goodness, you're so heavy, oh, and I'm standing on paint again, oh, I should just learn to tilt the other way, shouldn't I? Alright, let me clean up the paint that I've just stood in, otherwise I'm going to be walking it everywhere. I didn't even notice that it dripped onto the floor. Okay, there we go. Five drops of paint on the floor. Okay. Now, I'm going to torch. I'm going to get some clean gloves. These are just had it. I'm going to get some clean gloves on. I've got clean feet. Right, big breath. It does look a lot paler, doesn't it? I guess because my mix is thinner, my paints have blended more. So, you know, they've mixed more, so that's why they're maybe a little bit paler. Which isn't a bad thing. I've got lovely shading. All right, let's torch. Heavy hay. Not too much torching. Round and round each one. white there but I will tilt some of that off for sure 
Well, that was certainly easier, tilting this half off with the thinner mix, wasn't it? I kind of struggled with that last mix. How's my cells? How's my cells? Are you behaving? Are you not curdling? Please behave. All right, I'm going to talk to you again. cells are popping up. Lots of white cells. I thought they would have been bigger because my mix is thinner. Mind you, I have spread it out so maybe the paint hasn't got so much, it hasn't got as much space to move, to grow. That's also a reason why your cells might stay a little on the small side. To get anything there that bites too dense. All right, I think I'm happy with that. I don't want to do any more. And now just stretching basically that way, a little bit to the side because I have to cover here, and a little bit up there, but basically just stretching it or tilting it down. We'll see how those cells go, hey? They don't have to be huge cells. I would prefer um, quality <laughs> over quantity. So they don't have to be massive, they just have to be nice shapes, nice colours. And I'll be happy with that, with some pretty background. And I really love the background here. It's blended beautifully. As I said, that's um, the thinner mix, you know, it's blending nicely. Okay, I think they've grown enough. It's nice to wait just a couple of minutes for the, your cells to come up to the surface and, and grow a little bit before you start tilting. I'll just give it another minute. You guys don't mind, do you? Waiting with me for a minute. I'm going to get rid of that. I can go through there. Actually, I might just put a little bit of paint in these triangles. Actually, let's thin it first. Make sure it's make sure what you're putting in there is going to be just a touch thinner, so that your paint flows over it. You don't want it to be a bit of a speed bump. You want it to help the paint over. So let's just pop some here. Where there's a big triangle, and if I don't get all the way over, that's okay. And this uh, Japanese maple, I haven't got a lot of it, seems to have been hidden. So I can add some of that. I don't know where it all went. Well, there's a bit there. So just take it up to the about an inch from the, the top. That way when it goes over, it all goes over at the same rate. Just makes it easier. If you've got the same amount of canvas to cover, can you see what I mean? I'm making it all the same, relatively the same. as well because as I said there's not a, a lot of this colour showing come out don't be shy come out so I don't actually mind if I have some of this left on the corner that would be pretty if I did oops Maybe 
some black on this corner because it's not a lot of black either. So I don't mind having this corner black instead of the um, turquoise. I think that would look better. I probably could have made some of this black. Okay, enough dawdling. Let's get on with it. Now, don't leave your paint too long. It'll start getting a film and, and then it won't want to move. So, don't leave it too long. All right, here we go. Let's walk it over to the side. To the side, and I'll leave that there. I like that little bit of purple on that corner. Straighten it back up again. Mm, how's it looking? pen just broke over there. I was holding it and it broke. I'm have to put something under there. Uh, I'll just wedge it back on top for the moment if I can. Uh, there we go. Alright, how's that? What if I like the other one better? <laughs> Too bad, it's gone, skis. Um, let me have a look at this one. The white is better. It's more evenly distributed. I haven't got all that white at the top like I did on the other one. Yes, the cells are a little bit smaller, but they're not too overstretched. Um, what am I going to put under this corner to stop that foot from moving? Now, let me check my composition. Well, the paint's just gone over that side. Do I want to take it any further? This is a tricky thing, you know, when you've got your painting pretty much done, you don't really want to keep playing with it. I'm just going to stretch those cells out a little bit, bring the weight of the paint back to the middle, stretch these ones out here. I would like to go a little bit further over there but I can't at this stage. Once you've gone to that corner, that's it. There's no going back. Do what you want to do at that corner because you're not going to get back to it. Is what I say. <laughs> now, I'm just going to cover this corner with some Japanese maple. Like so, I probably shouldn't have put the turquoise there, should I? Because I prefer the, the Japanese maple. So I'll just cover that. wants to come through underneath but no that's done and that corner is pretty much done I just have to fix up that little bit where I stuck my finger in it when I was trying to hold it that corner's okay this corner needs a bit of a touch up as well where I put my finger in it she might pull some, oh no, I haven't got any more of that blue. I was going to say I was going to put some blue there, but I can't. I haven't got any more of it. Okay. What do you think? I should have shown you the photo of the dinner cover, shouldn't I? I'll put it up on Facebook. Once I put this um, photo up and the video up, 
I'll show you the photo on, on Facebook, put it next to it so that you can see the comparison, see if it matches. It's in the other room, it's on my tablet in the other room, so I don't really want to rush off and get it. So what do you think of um, me tilting one way and then torching? The cells are smaller, yes. Is that a problem or do we prefer bigger cells? But maybe more wobbly and you know not less not as round. Or do we like these smaller cells which are better shaped, in my opinion? I'm gonna torch just in this white, see if I can get anything up. Probably won't. And just a little torch all over just to see if there's any little ones that won't come out because I like the little baby ones just to pop up here and there. Just for a little bit of difference. Makes these ones look really big if you've got little or smaller ones, you know, coming up next to them. So it's a few here popping up. And yeah, I think the white is doing much better. Still a little bit of areas that are uh, starting to break a bit, but certainly not as bad as the last four. I can live with this one. And I hope my daughter likes it. It's got a nice amount of white, as I said, because I didn't have so much white on the bottom. And I think because the white was on the bottom there, so I've got white there, white there, um, and it's kind of white there, white there. I think that's helped a bit as well. Right, let me get my gloves off and bring you down for a close up. So hopefully you guys like this one. Don't tell me you prefer the other one because I'll cry. It was a big decision to scrape it. I'm going to climb up onto the table. If you hear a big bang crash, I've fallen off the table. Okay. Here we go. Maybe I can take you in like this. I'm going to climb off the table, down my ladder. So it's, I can't really remember the other one now. I took a photo of it, I'll have to go back and look at it, but I think it was a lot darker. Uh, it had more, more purple for sure. This one I think has got more of the blues and turquoises coming through. But the cells are really pretty. Look at that. We've got white cells there in that sea of blue. We've got blue and black cells there in the purple. There's a couple of cells there that are a bit overstretched. I think they were the ones that had popped up first before I even started tilting. So and they've just kept growing. But uh, overall, pretty happy with it. Hope you guys like it. I'll show you the whole thing as I go along. I can't really reach the whole, I can't show you the whole thing at once. It's too big. Uh, 40 centimeters by 120 centimeters uh, 12 by 48 inches I think it is there we go that's as high as I can reach so hopefully you've enjoyed that video hopefully I've made the right decision scraping the other one let me know no don't let me know because <laughs> maybe you like the other one better and there's nothing I can do about that now it's gone all right thanks for watching thanks for all your support and um, yeah, have a go at big one. But make sure your consistency is good. Don't have it too thick. <laughs>
and let me know whether or not you like this um, tilting and then torching and then tilting because uh, the cells are different aren't they but uh, better shapes better shapes not as not as big and wobbly so okay I'll leave it there thanks for watching bye for now